Rhine. The Rhine is a European river that begins in the Swiss canton of Graubünden in the southeastern Swiss Alps, forms part of the Swiss Liechtenstein, Swiss Austrian, Swiss German, and then the Franco German border, then flows through the German Rhineland and the Netherlands and eventually empties into the North Sea. The largest city on the Rhine is Cologne, Germany, with a population of more than 1,050,000 people. It is the second longest river in Central and Western Europe, after Danube, at about, with an average discharge of about. The Rhine and the Danube formed most of the northern inland frontier of the Roman Empire and, since those days, the Rhine has been a vital and navigable waterway carrying trade and goods deep inland. Its importance as a waterway in the Holy Roman Empire is supported by the many castles and fortifications built along it. In the modern era, it has become a symbol of German nationalism. The variants of the name of the Rhine in modern languages are all derived from the Gaulish name Kama, which was adapted in Roman era geography, 1st century BC, as Greek Kama Latin. The spelling with RH in English Rhine as well as in German and French is due to the influence of Greek orthography, while the vocalization I is due to the Proto-Germanic adoption of the Gaulish name as Rhinas, via Old Frankish giving Old English, comma Old High German, comma Early Middle Dutch, circa 1200, then also spelled or dot. The diphthong in modern German, also adopted in Romansch, comma is a central German development of the early modern period, the Alemannic name retaining the older vocalism as does Riparian comma while Palatine has diphthongized dot Spanish is with French in adopting the Germanic vocalism comma while Italian, Occitan and Portuguese retain Latin dot. The Gaulish name Reynos, Proto-Celtic or Pre-Celtic Reynos, belongs to a class of river names built from the Pyru to move, flow, run, also found in other Nemesu as the Reno in Italy. The grammatical gender of the Celtic name, as well as of its Greek and Latin adaptation, is masculine, and the name remains masculine in German, Dutch, and French. The Old English river name was variously inflected as masculine or feminine, and its Old Icelandic adoption was inflected as feminine. The length of the Rhine is conventionally measured in Rhine kilometers, Rhine kilometer, a scale introduced in 1939 which runs from the Old Rhine Bridge at Constance 0 kilometers, to Hoek van Holland, 1036.20 kilometers. The river is significantly shortened from its natural course due to a number of canalization projects completed in the 19th and 20th century. The total length of the Rhine, to the inclusion of Lake Constance and the Alpine Rhine, is more difficult to measure objectively. It was cited as by the Dutch Rauxwaterstad in 2010. Its course is conventionally divided as follows. The Rhine carries its name without distinctive accessories only from the confluence of the Rhein anterior slash Vorderine and Rhein posterior slash Hinterrhein next to Reichenau and Timmins. Above this point is the extensive catchment of the headwaters of the Rhine. It belongs almost exclusively to the Swiss canton of Graubünden, ranging from St. Gotthard Massif in the west via one valley lying in Ticino in Italy in the south to the Fula Pass in the east. Traditionally, Lake Toma near the Oberalp Pass in the Gotthard region is seen as the source of the anterior Rhine and the Rhine is a hold out the posterior Rhine rises in the Rhinewald below the Rhinewald Horn. The source of the river is generally considered north of Lida Tuma slash Thomasy on Rhine anterior slash Vorderine, although its southern tributary Rhine de Metal is actually longer before its confluence with the anterior Rhine near Dysentis. The anterior Rhine arises from numerous source streams in the upper Surselva and flows in an easterly direction. One source is Lida Tuma, with the Rhine de Tuma, which is usually indicated as source of the Rhine, flowing through it. Into it flow tributaries from the south, some longer, some equal in length, such as the Rhine de Medel, the Rhine de Mils, and the Rhine de Kernera. The Cadlimo Valley in the canton of Ticino is drained by the Rhino de Medel, which crosses the geomorphologic alpine main ridge from the south. All streams in the source area are partially, sometimes completely captured and sent to storage reservoirs for the local hydroelectric power plants. The culminating point of the anterior Rhine's drainage basin is the Pise Rissane of the Todi Massif of the Glarus Alps at above sea level. It starts with the Creek of the Rissane, lit, water of the Rissane. In its lower course the anterior Rhine flows through a gorge named Ruinalda, Flims Rock Slide. The whole stretch of the anterior Rhine to the Alpine Rhine confluence annexed to Reichenau and Timmins is accompanied by a long-distance hiking trail called Sendes or Silvana. The posterior Rhine flows first east-northeast, then north. It flows through the three valleys named Rhinwald, Skuns and Dumlisch-Kinsenberg. The valleys are separated by the Rafla Gorge and Via Mala Gorge. 
Its sources are located in the Agila Alps, Rin Wildhorn, Rin Quellhorn, and Kferhorn. The Avers Rhine joins from the south. One of its headwaters, the Reno di Lay, stowed in the Lago di Lay, is partially located in Italy. Near Seals the posterior Rhine is joined by the Albula, from the east, from the Albula Pass region. The Albula draws its water mainly from the Landwasser with the Dischmabach is the largest source stream, but almost as much from the Gelja, which comes down from the Julier Pass. Numerous larger and smaller tributary rivers bear the name of the Rhine or equivalent in various Romance idioms like Rhein or Ran. Examples Next to Reichenau and Timmins the anterior Rhine and the posterior Rhine join and form the Alpine Rhine. The river makes a distinctive turn to the north near Kuradop. This section is nearly 86 kilometers long, and descends from a height of 599 meters to 396 meters. It flows through a wide glacial alpine valley known as the Rhine Valley. Near Sarganza Natural Dam, only a few meters high, prevents it from flowing into the open Seastal Valley and then through Lake Whalen and Lake Zurich into the RA. The Alpine Rhine begins in the westernmost part of the Swiss canton of Graubünden, and later forms the border between Switzerland to the west and Liechtenstein and later Austria to the east. As an effect of human work, it empties into Lake Constance on Austrian territory and not on the border that follows its old natural riverbed. The mouth of the Rhine into Lake Constance forms an inland delta. The delta is delimited in the west by the Alter Rhine, Old Rhine, and in the east by a modern canalized section. Most of the delta is a nature reserve and bird sanctuary. It includes the Austrian towns of Gaisau, Hoogst, and Fussich. The natural Rhine originally branched into at least two arms and formed small islands by precipitating sediments. In the local Alemannic dialect, the singular is pronounced Isel and this is also the local pronunciation of Azel, donkey. Many local fields have an official name containing this element. A regulation of the Rhine was called for, with an upper canal near Diepholtza and a lower canal at Fussage, in order to counteract the constant flooding and strong sedimentation in the western Rhine Delta. The Dornbirner Ack had to be diverted, too, and it now flows parallel to the canalized Rhine into the lake. Its water has a darker color than the Rhine. The latter's lighter suspended load comes from higher up the mountains. It is expected that the continuous input of sediment into the lake will silt up the lake. This has already happened to the former Lake Tugginer Sea. The cut-off old Rhine at first formed a swamp landscape. Later an artificial ditch of about 2 km was dug. It was made navigable to the Swiss town of Rhinec. Lake Constance consists of three bodies of water, the Obersee, Upper Lake, the Untersee, Lower Lake and a connecting stretch of the Rhine, called the Seerhine, Lake Rhine. The lake is situated in Germany, Switzerland and Austria near the Alps. Specifically, its shorelines lie in the German states of Bavaria and Baden-Württemberg, the Austrian state of Vorarlberg, and the Swiss cantons of Torgau and St. Gallen. The Rhine flows into it from the south following the Swiss-Austrian border. It is located at approximately the flow of cold. Gray mountain water continues for some distance into the lake. The cold water flows near the surface and at first doesn't mix with the warmer, green waters of Upper Lake. But then, at the so-called Rhine Breek, the Rhine water abruptly falls into the depths because of the greater density of cold water. The flow reappears on the surface at the northern, German, shore of the lake, off the island of Lindau. The water then follows the northern shore until Hagnau and Bodensee. A small fraction of the flow is diverted off the island of Mainau into Lake Überlingen. Most of the water flows via the Constance Hopper into the Rhine Rhin, Rhine Gutter, and Seerhine. Depending on the water level, this flow of the Rhine water is clearly visible along the entire length of the lake. The Rhine carries very large amounts of debris into the lake. In the mouth region, it is therefore necessary to permanently remove gravel by dredging. The large sediment loads are partly due to the extensive land improvements upstream. Three countries border the Obersee, namely Switzerland in the south, Austria in the southeast, and the German states of Bavaria in the northeast and Baden Württemberg in the north and northwest. The Seerhine is only 4 km long. It connects the Obersee with the 30 cm lower Untersee. Distance markers along the Rhine measure the distance from the bridge and fold city center of Constance. For most of its length, the Seerhine forms the border between Germany and Switzerland. The exception is the old city center of Constance, on the Swiss side of the river. The Seerhine emerged in the last thousands of years, when erosion caused the lake level to be lowered by about 10 meters. Previously, the two lakes formed a single lake, as the name still suggests. Like in the Obersee, 
the flow of the Rhine can be traced in the Untersee. Here, too, the river water is hardly mixed with the lake water. The northern parts of the Untersee, Lake Zell and Udensee, remain virtually unaffected by the flow. The river traverses the southern, which, in isolation, is sometimes called Rhine Sea, Lake Rhine. The Radolf Ziller Ock adds large amounts of water from the Danube system to the Untersee. Reichenau Island was formed at the same time as the Seerhine, when the water level was lower to its current level. Lake Untersee is part of the border between Switzerland and Germany, with Germany on the north bank and Switzerland on the south, except both sides are Swiss and Stein im Rhein, where the High Rhine flows out of the lake. The Rhine emerges from Lake Constance, flows generally westward, as the Hochurhain passes the Rhine Falls, and is joined by its major tributary, the RA. The RA more than doubles the Rhine's water discharge, to an average of nearly, and provides more than a fifth of the discharge at the Dutch border. The RA also contains the waters from the summit of Finster or Horn, the highest point of the Rhine Basin. The Rhine roughly forms the German-Swiss border from Lake Constance with the exceptions of the canton of Schaffhausen and parts of the cantons of Zurich and Baselstadt, until it turns north at the so-called Rhine near Basel leaving Switzerland. The High Rhine begins in Stein am Rhine at the western end of the Untersee. Unlike the Alpine Rhine and Upper Rhine, it flows to the west. It falls from 395 meters to 252 meters. Some stretches of the High Rhine between Stein am Rhine and Eglisau form the border between Switzerland and the South Bank and Germany in the north. On other stretches, both sides are Swiss, in fact most of the canton of Schaffhausen is on the north bank. Between Eglisau and Basel, the High Rhine consistently forms the border. The Rhine Falls are situated below Schaffhausen. It has an average water flow of 373 cubic meters per second, mean summer discharge 700 cubic meters per second, and is the second largest waterfall in European terms of potential energy, after Dedefoss in Iceland. The High Rhine is characterized by numerous dams. On the few remaining natural sections, there are still several rapids. Near Koblenz in the Aargau, the RA joins the Rhine. With an average discharge of 557 cubic meters per second, the RA is more voluminous than the Rhine, which has an average discharge of 439 cubic meters per second. Nevertheless, the Alpine Rhine is considered the main branch, because it is longer. In the center of Basel, the first major city in the course of the stream, is located the rhine Nee. This is a major bend, where the overall direction of the Rhine changes from west to north. Here the High Rhine ends. Legally, the central bridge is the boundary between High and Upper Rhine. The river now flows north as Upper Rhine through the Upper Rhine Plain, which is about 300 kilometers long and up to 40 kilometers wide. The most important tributaries in this area are the Ill below of Strasbourg, the Neckar in Monheim and the Main across from Mainz. In Mainz, the Rhine leaves the Upper Rhine Valley and flows through the Mainz Basin. The southern half of the Upper Rhine forms the border between France, Alsace, and Germany, Baden-Württemberg. The northern part forms the border between the German states of Rhineland-Palatinate in the west on the one hand, and Baden-Württemberg and Hesse on the other hand, in the east and north. A curiosity of this borderline is that the parts of the city of Mainz on the right bank of the Rhine were given to Hesse by the occupying forces in 1945. The Upper Rhine was a significant cultural landscape in Central Europe already in antiquity and during the Middle Ages. Today, the Upper Rhine area hosts many important manufacturing and service industries, particularly in the centers Basel, Strasbourg and Mannheim Ludwigshafen. Strasbourg is the seat of the European Parliament, and so one of the three European capitals is located on the Upper Rhine. The Upper Rhine region was changed significantly by a Rhine straightening program in the 19th century. The rate of flow was increased and the groundwater level fell significantly. Dead branches were removed by construction workers and the area around the river was made more habitable for humane floodplains as flooding decreased sharply. On the French side, the Grand Canal d'Alsace was dug, which carries a significant part of the river water, and all of the traffic. In some places, there are large compensation pools, for example, the huge basin de compensation de Plobsheim in Alsace. The Upper Rhine has undergone significant human change since the 19th century. While it was slightly modified during the Roman occupation, it was not until the emergence of engineers such as Johann Gottfried Tolle that significant modernization efforts changed the shape of the river. Earlier work under Frederick the Great surrounded efforts to ease shipping and construct dams to serve coal transportation. Tolle is considered to have domesticated the Upper Rhine, 
domestication that served goals such as reducing stagnant bogs that fostered waterborne diseases, making regions more habitable for human settlement, and reduce high frequency of flooded water. Not long before Tula went to work on widening and straightening the river, heavy floods had brought significant loss of life. Four diplomatic treaties were signed among German state governments and French regions dealing with the changes proposed along the Rhine. One was the Treaty for the Rectification of the Rhine Flow from Newburgh to Dedenheim, 1817, which surrounded states such as Bourbon France and the Bavarian Palatinate. Loops, oxbows, branches and islands were removed along the Upper Rhine so that there would be a present uniformity to the river. The engineering of the Rhine was not without protest. Farmers and fishermen had grave concerns about valuable fishing areas and farmland being lost. While some areas lost ground, other areas saw swamps and bogs be drained and turned into arable land. Johann Tulle had the goal of shortening and straightening the Upper Rhine. Early engineering projects the Upper Rhine also had issues, with Tulle's project at one part off the river creating rapids, after the Rhine cut down from erosion to sheer rock. Engineering along the Rhine eased flooding and made transportation along the river less cumbersome. These state projects were part of the advanced and technical progress efforts going on in the country alongside the Industrial Revolution. For the German state, to make the river more predictable was to ensure development projects could easily commence. The section of the Upper Rhine downstream from Mainz is also known as the Island Rhine. Here a number of river islands occur, locally known as Rhine. The Rhine is the longest river in Germany. It is here that the Rhine encounters some more of its main tributaries, such as the Neckar the main and, later, the Moselle, which contributes an average discharge of more than. Northeastern France drains to the Rhine via the Moselle, smaller rivers drain the Vosges Jura Mountains uplands. Most of Luxembourg and a very small part of Belgium also drain to the Rhine via the Moselle. As it approaches the Dutch border, the Rhine has an annual mean discharge of an, an average width of. Between Bingen am Rhine and Bonn, the Middle Rhine flows through the Rhine Gorge a formation which was created by erosion. The rate of erosion equaled the uplift in the region, such that the river was left at about its original level while the surrounding lands raised up the gorge is quite deep and is the stretch of the river which is known for its many castles and vineyards. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, 2002, and known as the Romantic Rhine, with more than 40 castles and fortresses from the Middle Ages and many quaint and lovely country villages. The Mainz Basin ends in Bingen im Rhine. The Rhine continues as Middle Rhine into the Rhine Gorge in the Rhenish Slate Mountains. In the sections, the river falls from 77.4 meters above sea level to 50.4 meters. On the left, is located the mountain ranges of Hunsruck and Eiffel, on the right, Taunus and Westerwald. According to geologists, the characteristic narrow valley form was created by erosion by the river while the surrounding landscape was lifted. Seawater gap. Major tributaries in this section are the Lan and the Moselle. They join the Rhine near Koblenz, for the right and left respectively. Almost the entire length of the Middle Rhine runs in the German state of Rhineland Palatinate. The dominant economic sectors in the Middle Rhine area are viniculture and tourism. The Rhine Gorge between Rudesheim and Rhine and Koblenz is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Near Zonktgorshausen, the Rhine flows around the famous rock Lorelei. With its outstanding architectural monuments, the slopes full of vines, Settlements crowded on the narrow river banks and scores of castles lined up along the top of the steep slopes, the Middle Rhine Valley can be considered the epitome of the Rhine Romanticism. In Bonn, where the Zeke flows into the Rhine, the Rhine enters the North German plain and turns into the Lower Rhine. The Lower Rhine falls from 50 meters to 12 meters. The main tributaries on this stretch are the Ruhr and the Lippe. Like the Upper Rhine, the lower Rhine used to meander until engineering created a solid riverbed. Because the levees are some distance from the river, at high tide the lower Rhine has more room for widening than the upper Rhine. The lower Rhine flows through North Rhine Westphalia. Its banks are usually heavily populated and industrialized, in particular the agglomerations Cologne, Dusseldorf, and Ruhr area. Here the Rhine flows through the largest conurbation in Germany, the Rhine Ruhr region. One of the most important cities in this region is Duisburg with the largest river port in Europe, Duisburg. The region downstream of Duisburg is more agricultural. In Wesel, 30 kilometers downstream of Duisburg, is located the western end of the second east-west shipping route, the wesel dadeln Canal, which runs parallel to the Lippidot between Emmerich and Cleves. The Emmerich Rhine Bridge, the longest suspension bridge in Germany, crosses the river. Near Krefeld, the river crosses the Uerdingen Line the line which separates the areas where Low German and High German are spoken. 
Britain. Until the early 1980s, industry was a major source of water pollution. Although many plants and factories can be found along the Rhine up into Switzerland, it is along the lower Rhine that the bulk of them are concentrated, as the river passes the major cities of Cologne, Dusseldorf, and Duisburg. Duisburg is the home of Europe's largest inland port and functions as a hub to the seaports of Rotterdam, Antwerp, and Amsterdam. The Ruhr, which joins the Rhine in Duisburg, is nowadays a clean river, thanks to a combination of stricter environmental controls, a transition from heavy industry to light industry, and clean up measures, such as the reforestation of slag and brownfields. The Ruhr currently provides the region with drinking water. It contributes to the Rhine. Other rivers in the Ruhr area, above all, the Emsker, still carry a considerable degree of pollution. The Dutch name for Rhine is Rhein. The Rhine turns west and enters the Netherlands, where, together with the rivers Meuse and Scheldt, it forms the extensive rhine meuse schulte delta with the largest river delta in Europe. Crossing the border into the Netherlands at Spouk, close to Nijmegen and Arnhem, the Rhine is at its widest. Although the river then splits into three main distributaries, the Waal, Nderrhein, Nether Rhine, and Isel. From here, the situation becomes more complicated, as the Dutch name Rhein no longer coincides with the main flow of water. Two thirds of the water flow volume of the Rhine flows farther west, through the Waal and then, via the Merweed and New Merweed, the Bisbisk, merging with the Meuse, through the Hollands Deep and Herringblit estuaries, into the North Sea. The Bennet and Merweed branches off. Near Hardenksveld Gesendeman continues as the Nord, to join the Lek, near the village of Kinderdijk, to form the new Moss, then flows past Rotterdam and continues via Hetscher and the new Waterweg, to the North Sea. The Oud Moss branches off, near Dordrecht, farther down rejoining the new Moss to form Hetscher. The other third of the water flows through the Panardens Canal and redistributes in the Isel and Derine. The Isel branch carries one ninth of the water flow off Rhine north into the Isel Mere, a former bay while the Nderrhein carries approximately two-ninths of the flow west along a route parallel to the Wild. However, at Lake Bedouer Steed, the Nderrhein changes its name and becomes the Lek. It flows farther west, to rejoin the Nord into the Nuamas and to the North Sea. The name Rhein, from here on, is used only for smaller streams farther to the north, which together form the main river Rhine in Roman times. Though they retain the name, these streams no longer carry water from the Rhine but are used for draining the surrounding land and polders. From Bait Bay to Ersteed, the Old North branch of the Rhine is called Krama Rhein, Vent Rhine, past Utrecht, first Leitz Rhein, Rhine of Leiden, and then, Ud Rhein, Old Rhine. The latter flows west into a sluice at Katwauk, where its waters can be discharged into the North Sea. This branch once formed the line along which the Limes Germanicus were built. During periods of lower sea levels within the various ice ages, the Rhine took a left turn creating the Channel River, the course of which now lies below the English Channel. The Rhine-Meuse Delta, the most important natural region of the Netherlands begins near Millingen on der Rhein, close to the Dutch-German border with the division off Rhine into Wallen der Rhein. Since the Rhine contributes most of the water, the shorter term Rhine Delta is commonly used. However, this name is also used for the River Delta where the Rhine flows into Lake Constance, so it is clearer to call the larger one Rhine-Meuse Delta, or even Rhine-Meuse-Scalp Delta as the scalp ends in the same delta. The shape of the Rhine delta is determined by two bifurcations, first, at Millingen on der Rhein, the Rhine splits into Wall and Panardens Connell, which changes its name to Nderrhein at Angeren, and second near Arnhem, the Isel branches off from the Nderrhein. This creates three main flows, two of which change names rather often. The largest and southern main branch begins as Wall and continues as Boven Merweed, Upper Merweed, Benetton Merweed, Lower Merweed, Nord, the North, New Amos, New Meuse, Hetcher, the Rip, and New Waterweg, New Waterway. The middle flow begins as Nderrhein, then changes into Lek, then joins the Nord, thereby forming New Amos. The northern flow keeps the name Isel until it flows into Lake Iselmere. Three more flows carry significant amounts of water, the New Merweed, New Merweed, which branches off from the southern branch where it changes from Bub into Bennett and Merweed, the Oud Moss, Old Meuse, which branches off from the southern branch where it changes from Bennett and Merweed into Nord, and Dordzikil, which branches off from Oud Moss. Before the St. Elizabeth's Flood, 1421, the Meuse flowed just south of today's line Merweed Oud Moss to the North Sea and formed an archipelago like estuary with Wall and Lack. This system of numerous bays, Estuary like extended rivers, many islands and constant changes of the coastline, 
is hard to imagine today. From 1421 to 1904, the Meuse and Wall merged further upstream at Gorincum to form Merweed. For flood protection reasons, the Meuse was separated from the well through a lock and diverted into a new outlet called Berg's Moss, then Amarin then flows into the former Bay Hollands Deep. The northwestern part of the estuary, around Hook of Holland, is still called Mosmond, Meuse Mouth, ignoring the fact that it now carries only water from the Rhine. This might explain the confusing naming of the various branches. The hydrography of the current delta is characterized by the delta's main arms, disconnected arms, Hollandsysel, Linga, Vecht, etc., and smaller rivers and streams. Many rivers have been closed, dammed, and now serve as drainage channels for the numerous polders. The construction of delta works changed the delta in the second half of the 20th century fundamentally. Currently, Rhine water runs into the sea, or into former marine bays now separated from the sea, in five places, namely at the mouths of the new Merweed, New Waterway, New Moss, Dortzi Kill, Spui, and Isel. The Rhine Meuse Delta is a tidal delta, shaped not only by the sedimentation of the rivers, but also by tidal currents. This meant that high tide formed a serious risk because strong tidal currents could tear huge areas of land into the sea. Before the construction of the Delta Works, Tidal influence was palpable up to Nijmegen, and even today, after the regulatory action of the Delta Works, the tide acts far inland. At the Wall, for example, the most landward tidal influence can be detected between Brockel and South Bommel. The Rhine flows from the Alps to the North Sea Basin. The geography and geology of its present day watershed has been developing since the Alpine orogeny began. In Southern Europe, the stage was set in the Triassic period of the Mesozoic era with the opening of the Tethys Ocean, between the Eurasian and African tectonic plates, between about 240 MBP and 220 MBP, million years before present. The present Mediterranean Sea descends from this somewhat larger Tethys Sea dot at about 180 MBP. In the Jurassic period, the two plates reversed direction and began to compress the Tethys floor, causing it to be subjected under Eurasia and pushing up the edge of the latter plate in the Alpine orogeny of the Oligocene and Miocene periods. Several microplates were caught in the squeeze and rotated or were pushed laterally, generating the individual features of Mediterranean geography. Iberia pushed up the Pyrenees, Italy, the Alps, and Anatolia, moving west, the mountains of Greece and the islands. The compression and orogeny continue today, as shown by the ongoing raising of the mountains a small amount each year in the active volcanoes. In Northern Europe, the North Sea Basin had formed during the Triassic and Jurassic periods and continued to be a sediment receding basin since dot in between the zone of Alpine orogeny and North Sea Basin subsidence, remained highlands resulting from an earlier orogeny, Briskan, such as the Ardennes, Eiffel, and Bosch. From the Eocene onwards, the ongoing Alpine orogeny caused a NS rift system to develop in this zone. The main elements of this rift are the Upper Rhine Graben, in southwest Germany and eastern France and the Lower Rhine Embayment, in northwest Germany and the southeastern Netherlands. By the time of the Miocene, a river system had developed in the Upper Rhine Graben, that continued northward and is considered the first Rhine River. At that time, it did not yet carry discharge from the Alps, instead, the watersheds of the Rhone and Danube drained the northern flanks of the Alps. The watershed of the Rhine reaches into the Alps today but it did not start out that way. In the Miocene period, the watershed of the Rhine reached south, only to the Eiffel and Westerwald hills, about north of the Alps. The Rhine then had the Zeeg as a tributary, but not yet the Moselle, river. The northern Alps were then drained by the Danube. Through stream capture, the Rhine extended its watershed southward. By the Pliocene period, the Rhine had captured streams down to the Vosges mountains, including the Main and the Necker. The northern Alps were then drained by the Rhone. By the early Pleistocene period, the Rhine had captured most of its current alpine watershed from the Rhone, including the RA. Since that time, the Rhine has added the watershed above Lake Constance, Vorderine, Hinderhain, Alpenrhein, captured from the Rhone, the upper reaches of the Main, beyond Schweinfurt and the Moselle and the Vosges Mountains, captured during the Zala Ice Age from the Meuse, to its watershed. Around 2.5 million years ago, Ending 11,600 years ago, was the geological period of the Ice Ages. Since approximately 600,000 years ago, six major Ice Ages have occurred, in which sea level dropped and much of the continental margins became exposed. In the early Pleistocene, the Rhine followed a course to the northwest, through the present North Sea. 
During the so-called Anglian glaciation, till the 450,000 years BP, marine oxygen isotope stage 12, the northern part of the present North Sea was blocked by the ice and a large lake developed, that overflowed through the English Channel. This caused the Rhine's course to be diverted through the English Channel. Since then, during glacial times, the river mouth was located offshore of Brest, France and rivers, like the River Thames and the Seine, became tributaries to the Rhine. During interglacials, when sea level rose to approximately the present level, the Rhine built deltas, in what is now the Netherlands. The last glacial ran from 74,000, BP equals before present, until the end of the Pleistocene, tilde 11,600 BP. In northwest Europe, it saw two very cold phases, peaking around 70,000 BP and around 29,000 to 24,000 BP. The last phase slightly predates the global last ice age maximum, last glacial maximum. During this time, the lower Rhine flowed roughly west through the Netherlands and extended to the southwest, through the English Channel and finally, to the Atlantic Ocean. The English Channel, the Irish Channel and most of the North Sea were dry land, mainly because sea level was approximately lower than today. Most of the Rhine's current course was not under the ice during the last ice age, although, its source must still have been a glacier. A tundra, with ice age flora and fauna, stretched across Middle Europe, from Asia to the Atlantic Ocean. Such was the case during the last glacial maximum, ca. 22,000 to 14,000 years BP, when ice sheets covered Scandinavia, the Baltics, Scotland and the Alps, but left the space between as open tundra. Lois, wind-blown topsoil dust, arose from the South and North Sea Plain settling on the slopes of the Alps, Urals and the Rhine Valley, rendering the valley spacing the prevailing winds especially fertile. As Northwest Europe slowly began to warm up from 22,000 years ago onward, frozen subsoil and expanded alpine glaciers began to thaw in fall winter snow covers melted in spring. Much of the discharge was routed to the Rhine and its downstream extension. Rapid warming and changes of vegetation, to open forest, began about 13,000 BP. By 9,000 BP, Europe was fully forested. With globally shrinking ice cover, Ocean water levels rose and the English Channel and North Sea re-inundated. Meltwater, adding to the ocean and land subsidence, drowned the former coasts of Europe transgressionally. About 11,000 years ago, the Rhine estuary was in the Strait of Dover. There remained some dry land in the southern North Sea, known as Doggerland, connecting mainland Europe to Britain. About 9,000 years ago, that last divide was overtopped, dissected. Man was already resident in the area when these events happened. Since 7,500 years ago the situation of tides, currents and landforms has resembled the present. Rates of sea level rise dropped such that natural sedimentation by the Rhine and coastal processes widely compensate for transgression by the sea. In the southern North Sea, due to ongoing tectonic subsidence, the coastline and seabed air sinking at the rate of about per century, 1 meter or 39 inches in last 3,000 years. About 7,000 to 5,000 BP, a general warming encouraged migration of all former ice-locked areas, including up the Danube and down the Rhine by peoples to the east. A sudden massive expansion of the Black Sea as the Mediterranean Sea burst into it through the Bosporus may have occurred about 7,500 BP. At the beginning of the Holocene, tilde 11,700 years ago, the Rhine occupied its late glacial valley. As a meandering river, it reworked its ice age floodplain. As sea level rise continued in the Netherlands, the formation of the Holocene Rhine Meuse Delta began, tilde 8,000 years ago. Coeval absolute sea level rise and tectonic subsidence have strongly influenced delta evolution. Other factors of importance to the shape of the delta are the local tectonic activities of the Peel Boundary Fault, the substrate and geomorphology, as inherited from the last glacial and the coastal marine dynamics such as barrier and tidal inlet formations. Since tilde 3000 years BP, equals years before present, human impact is seen in the delta. As a result of increasing land clearance, Bronze Age agriculture, in the upland areas, central Germany, the sediment load of the Rhine has strongly increased and delta growth has speeded up. This has caused increased flooding and sedimentation, ending peat formation in the delta. In the geologically recent past the main process distributing sediment across delta has been the shifting of river channels to new locations on the floodplain, termed avulsion. Over the past 6,000 years, approximately 80 avulsions have occurred. Direct human impact in the delta began with the mining of peat for salt and fuel from Roman times onward. 
This was followed by embankment of the major distributaries and damming of minor distributaries, which took place in the 1113th century AD. Thereafter, canals were dug, bends were straightened and groins were built to prevent rivers' channels from migrating or silting up. At present, the branches wall and Darien Lake discharge to the North Sea through the former Meuse estuary, near Rotterdam. The river Isel branch flows to the north and enters the Isel Meer, formerly the Schouder Zee, initially a brackish lagoon but a freshwater lake since 1932. The discharge of the Rhine is divided into three branches the Wall, 6 ninths of total discharge, then Darien, Lake, 2 ninths of total discharge, and the Isel, 1 ninth of total discharge. This discharge distribution has been maintained since 1709 by river engineering works including the digging of the Panardens Canal and the installation, in the 20th century, of a series of weirs on the Nderrein. The Rhine was not known to Herodotus and first enters the historical period in the 1st century BC in Roman era geography. At that time, it formed the boundary between Gaul and Germania. The Upper Rhine had been part of the aerial of the late Hallstatt culture since the 6th century BC. And by the 1st century BC, the aerial of the Latin culture covered almost its entire length, forming a contact zone with the Jastorf culture, i.e. the locus of early Celtic Germanic cultural contact. In Roman geography, the Rhine formed the boundary between Gallia and Germania by definition, for example Morris Servi Usonaritus, Commentary on the Aeneid of Virgil, 8.727, Rhenus, Fluvius Galliae, Key German Ozagalia divide it, the Rhine is a river of Gaul, which divides the Germanic people from Gaul. In Roman geography, the Rhine and Hyrcania Sova were considered the boundary of the civilized world, as it was a wilderness, the Romans were eager to explore it. This view is typified by Res Geste Divi Augusti, a long public inscription of Augustus, in which he boasts of his exploits, including, sending an expeditionary fleet north of the Rhinemouth, to Old Saxony and Jutland, which he claimed no Roman had ever done before. Augustus ordered his general Drusus to establish 50 military camps along the Rhine, starting the Germanic Wars in 12 BC. At this time, the plain of the Lower Rhine was the territory of the Ubi. The first urban settlement, on the grounds of what is today the center of Cologne, along the Rhine, was a Pidum Ubiorum, which was founded in 38 BC by the Ubi. Cologne became acknowledged, as a city by the Romans in AD 50, by the name of Colonia Claudia Ara Agrippinensium. From the death of Augustus in AD 14 until after AD 70, Rome accepted as her Germanic frontier the water boundary of the Rhine and Upper Danube. Beyond these rivers, she held only the fertile plain of Frankfurt, opposite the Roman border fortress of Mogenschicum, Mainz, the southernmost slopes of the Black Forest, and a few scattered bridgeheads. The northern section of this frontier, where the Rhine is deep and broad, remained the Roman boundary until the Empire fell. The southern part was different. The Upper Rhine and Upper Danube are easily crossed. The frontier which they form is inconveniently long, enclosing an acute angled wedge of foreign territory between the modern Baden and Württemberg. The Germanic populations of these lands seem in Roman times to have been scanty, and Roman subjects from the modern Alsace Lorraine had drifted across the river eastwards. The Romans kept eight legions in five bases along the Rhine. The actual number of legions present at any base or in all, depended on whether a state or threat of war existed. Between about AD 14 and 180, the assignment of legions was as follows, for the army of Germania Inferior, two legions at Vetera, Cassantum, I Germanica and twenty Valeria, Pannonian troops, two legions at Epidum Ubiorum, town of the Ubii, which was renamed to Colonia Agrippina, descending to Cologne, Vialode, a Celtic legion recruited from Gallian Arbonensis and twenty-one, possibly a Galatian legion from the other side of the empire. For the army of Germania Superior, one legion, two Augusta, at Argenturatum, Strasbourg, and one, thirteen Gemina, at Vindo Nissa, Windisch. Vespasian had commanded two Augusta, before his promotion to Imperator. In addition, were a double legion, fourteen and sixteen, at Mogenschicum, Mainz. The two original military districts of Germania Inferior and Germania Superior, came to influence the surrounding tribes who later respected the distinction in their alliance and confederations. For example, the Upper Germanic peoples combined into the Alemanni. For a time, the Rhine ceased to be a border, when the Franks crossed there over an occupied Roman-dominated Celtic Gaul, as far as Paris. Germanic tribes crossed the Rhine in the migration period, by the 5th century establishing the kingdoms of Francia on the Lower Rhine, 
Burgundy on the Upper Rhine and Alemannia on the High Rhine. This Germanic heroic age is reflected in medieval legend, such as the Nibelungenlied which tells of the hero Siegfried killing a dragon on the Drachenfels, see Ebenshi Burge, Dragon's Rock, near Bonn at the Rhine and of the Burgundians in their court at Worms, at the Rhine and Kriemhild's golden treasure, which was thrown into the Rhine by Hagen. By the 6th century, the Rhine was within the borders of Francia. In the 9th, it formed part of the border between Middle and Western Francia, but in the 10th century, it was fully within the Holy Roman Empire, flowing through Swabia, Franconia, and Lower Lorraine. The mouths of the Rhine, in the county of Holland, fell to the Burgundian Netherlands in the 15th century. Holland remained contentious territory throughout the European wars of religion and the eventual collapse of the Holy Roman Empire. When the length of the Rhine fell to the First French Empire and its client state stopped the Alsace on the left banks of the Upper Rhine was sold to Burgundy by Archduke Sigismund of Austria in 1469 and eventually fell to France in the Thirty Years' War. The numerous historic castles in Rhineland Palatinate attest to the importance of the river as a commercial route. Since the Peace of Westphalia, the Upper Rhine formed a contentious border between France and Germany. Establishing natural borders on the Rhine was a long term goal of French foreign policy. Since the Middle Ages, though the language border was, and is, far more to the West. French leaders, such as Louis XIV and Napoleon Bonaparte, tried with varying degrees of success to annex lands west of the Rhine. The Confederation of the Rhine was established by Napoleon, as a French client state, in 1806 and lasted until 1814, during which time it served as a significant source of resources and military manpower for the First French Empire. In 1840, the Rhine Crisis, prompted by French Prime Minister Adolphe Guerre's desire to reinstate the Rhine as a natural border, led to a diplomatic crisis and a wave off nationalism in Germany. The Rhine became an important symbol in German nationalism during the formation of the German state in the 19th century, see Rhine Romanticism. At the end of World War I, the Rhineland was subject to the Treaty of Versailles. This decreed that it would be occupied by the Allies, until 1935 and after that, it would be a demilitarized zone, with a German army forbidden to enter. The Treaty of Versailles in this particular provision, in general, caused much resentment in Germany and is often cited as helping Adolf Hitler's rise to power. The Allies left the Rhineland, in 1930 and the German army reoccupied it in 1936, which was enormously popular in Germany. Although the Allies could probably have prevented the reoccupation, Britain and France were not inclined to do so, a feature of their policy of appeasement to Hitler. In World War II, it was recognized that the Rhine would present a formidable natural obstacle to the invasion of Germany, by the Western Allies. The Rhine Bridge at Arnhem, immortalized in the book, A Bridge Too Far in the film, was a central focus of the battle for Arnhem, during the failed Operation Market Garden of September 1944. The bridges at Nijmegen, over the walled distributary of the Rhine, were also an objective of Operation Market Garden. In a separate operation, the Ludendorff Bridge, crossing the Rhine at Remagen, became famous, when U.S. forces were able to capture it intact, much to their own surprise after the Germans failed to demolish it. This also became the subject of a film, The Bridge at Remagen. Seven Days to the River Rhine was a Warsaw Pact war plan for an invasion of Western Europe during the Cold War. Until 1932 the generally accepted length of the Rhine was 1,230 kilometers, 764 miles. In 1932 the German encyclopedia Nors Lexicon stated the length is 1,320 kilometers, 820 miles, presumably a typographical error. After this number was placed into the authoritative Brockhaus Encyclopedia, it became generally accepted and found its way into numerous textbooks and official publications. The error was discovered in 2010 and the Dutch Rauxwaterstadt confirms the length that large cities that are situated on the Rhine Switzerland France Germany Netherlands smaller cities that are situated on the Rhine Switzerland Liechtenstein Germany Netherlands During its course from the Alps to the North Sea, the Rhine passes through four countries and constitutes six different country borders. On the various parts Order, panning north to south through the western Netherlands Order, upstream to downstream Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.